the 2017 Runner Reunion here in Orange County with Christian Christian Murray, formerly of North Hollywood High School, class of 84. Went on to star at UCLA. Number 183, the 183rd runner to break the four minute mile. 183rd American. American, I'm sorry, American to break the four minute mile. So what do you think about these studs here? I mean, you're a four miler, but you mentioned you're in awe of some of these names out there. I'll tell you what, these guys that are here were unbelievable studs. And it's, it's almost not fair to compare what these guys were doing on cinder tracks and dirt tracks um, with, I mean, the invitational kind of um, circumstances that you have now, the opportunities that you have now. These guys were, you know, just grit, pure grit, you know, blood, guts, they, these guys had no mercy. And I, I actually feel lucky that I did not compete during their era in high school. Um, in the 80s, we were soft. Um, we started to get a little spoiled by all-weather tracks. And what guys like Ralph Cerna did, and some of these other legends here did, it, I don't think you'll ever see it again. I, I really don't. I mean. These guys that are competing now, and, and granted, I mean, every year we're having more high school sub four minute milers. But they they don't have, I, I, I hate to say it, and I'm, I probably sound like the old guy, you know, get off of my lawn kind of kid. <laughs> but I don't think these kids have a clue as to how hard these guys work. And, and that's not to, to uh, like, Cooper Tears a stud. But, but, and, and, but these guys, I don't think they have an, any idea how hard these guys worked and how tough they were. I really don't. It's certainly not to to uh, to disparage a kid like Cooper Tier or, or any of the other, you know, latter day sub four minute milers like a Drew Hunter and and all these other guys who ran really fast. I mean, Lord knows, I wish I could have run that fast when I was in high school. Uh, but I think there there's something to be said for these guys who were competing on the dirt tracks. I mean, I ran at UCLA, and our award, our best distance runner award, was named after a guy named Bob Day. And he ran 3.56 in like 1965. On a cinder track, he was right ahead of, I mean, Jim Ryan's the only high school junior to ever break four minutes in the mile in, in the United States. And so, you know, when some of these guys, I don't think they quite understand what it meant to, to do what those guys did. We're, we're trying, we're, it's not that we're trying to find the easiest way to, to run fast, but we think there's some sort of magic when in fact, at the end of the day, you just gotta work your ass off. You can give me the top, you know, the last three guys who broke four minutes in the mile, but did they do what Jim Ryan was doing back in 1964? No. And that's why they are slower than Jim Ryan. Mm -hmm. I, d I certainly don't want to, uh, I don't want to disparage what a guy like Cooper Tier has done. Right, right, right. Or, or even a, a kid like Lucas uh, Vizbikas, yeah, or, or all these other guys. I mean, Lord knows. I was the, one of the last fast miles I ran, Michael Stember was behind me, and Lord knows I did not want to get beat by a high school kid. And so what these guys are doing is phenomenal. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I still think there's something, there's something missing. Um, uh, and, and that's not, not the fault of the kids. It's not the fault of their coaches right. or their parents right. or anything like that. But I still think people don't quite fully comprehend how hard it is to succeed at each successive level, whether it's being the best high school runner, like a kid like Cooper Tier clearly is. Right. Um, he's certainly among the best. I mean, the, the fastest high school kid not to break four minutes. Mm -hmm. Kids, it's unbelievable. And, and, but, I mean, you get a kid like Austin Tamagno, who is, you know, he's, he's running sub four minute mile equivalents at Oregon right now. And, and those kids are, they're working their asses off. There is nothing easy about this sport at any level. 
don't care if you're a youth, I don't care if you're 13 years old, I don't care if you're 16 years old, I don't care if you're 20 years old. You're trying to do the best you can at this sport, you're going to be running up against some serious studs, some of whom maybe were not studs in high school, but found their way into college. Of all the kids you've seen in high school over the years, who was the most impressive to you and why? I'll tell you, I mean, obviously German uh, was unbelievable, right? Yeah. But he all, he's, he's, he's part of what shows you both. The, the, you know, what's incredible about running in high school and how difficult it is to translate it into great collegiate running. And, I mean, if a kid like German can't make it, you wonder, can anybody make it? But obviously people do. I would tell you of the most recent crop of kids, as great as Austin Tamando is, Isaac Cortez. Oh boy. Is I think a kid he's got wheels. who I think given time, he's yeah. at a great program, he's at a good school. Yeah. I mean he's gotta weather the storms that every kid has to weather, but that kid, the the, the way he was able to double and he everything that kid blew my mind watching him race if i'm talking about the current crop of kids that's a kid who we're going to see in another four years competing for an olympic spot i, I really believe that yeah, he's really that's a testament to doug souls and doug uh, dan noble and the coaches there right. christian christian murray thank you very much